My name is Greg. Today I'm going to walk you through how to scan and transfer an image using the Ion Audio Film to SD Plus. The Film to SD Plus contains a high quality 14 megapixel scanner and all the necessary accessories for you to get up and running as quickly as possible. If you are using a Windows computer, be sure to visit the additional resources section below to find a link that walks through the installation of the ArcSoft Media Impressions software. If you're using a Mac, also see the additional resources section to find a link with further steps on how to transfer your images directly to your computer. You must have an SD card inserted into the film to SD Plus in order for it to scan and save an image. If no SD card is inserted and you power the film to SD Plus on, this display will show and will not allow you to continue forward. The included SD card comes ready to save to. However, if you're using your own SD card, be sure that it's unlocked. If it's locked, the Film SD Plus display screen will show this image and will not allow you to continue forward. To unlock an SD card, ensure that the lock switch is not set to the lock position as indicated on the card. Power the unit on. The Film to SD Plus will ask if you want to link to a computer. Press the down arrow to highlight no and then press OK. You are now ready to scan and save your images. Insert your film or slide using the appropriate included holder. You'll see the image on the display screen. Notice the icon in the bottom left corner. This indicates the type of slide or film you're scanning. The Film to SD Plus allows the ability to scan a variety of film and slide types. Press the Type button to toggle through the various available formats, including 135 positive slide format, 135 negative, 135 black and white, 110 negative, and 126 negative film types. In this case, we're going to scan a 135 positive slide film type. First, ensure that your film or slide image is lined up as you like, and then press the OK button to capture the image. An hourglass will appear while the Film to SD Plus processes the scan. And that's it. Your image has now been scanned and is saved to the SD card. There are two main ways to transfer your images to a computer. Number one, your computer may have a built-in SD card slot. If so, simply remove the SD card from the Film to SD Plus, insert it into the SD card slot on your computer, and transfer the contents as you would with any other SD card. Number two, you can connect the Film to SD Plus to the computer with the included mini USB to USB cable and transfer directly. This is the process that we'll walk through now. For the purposes of this video, I'm using a Windows 8 computer in the included ArcSoft Media Impression software to demonstrate how to transfer an image. For help with transferring images on some of the other major operating systems or without using the ArcSoft Media Impression software, visit the links below under Additional Resources. First, ensure the Film to SD Plus is connected to the computer and power the unit on you will be prompted to choose whether or not to link to the computer. Use the down arrow button on the top of the unit to highlight yes and press OK. The Film to SD display window will go blank and you can now access the SD card contents directly from your computer. Your computer will recognize that a device is connected and an import options window or other window may open. If it does, close it. Open the ArcSoft Media Impression software. Once the program opens, choose Import on the bottom of the software interface. Select the Film to SD Plus from the drop down menu under Get Media From. It may be labeled as Digital Camera USB Device. On the same screen, click the folder icon next to Destination Folder. Choose the place on your computer that you want to save your images to and press OK. We recommend using the Pictures or My Pictures folder as this is the typical default folder for most images. When you're ready, choose Import. 
Once the transfer is complete, Media Impressions will ask if you want to delete the original files from the SD card. If you want to delete them, choose Delete Original Files. Otherwise, choose Done. And that's it. Your images are now on your computer. Again, my name's Greg, and I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. You can find links to some additional resources below, and if you continue to experience difficulty, visit the folks over at Ion Audio Technical Support by going to www.ionaudio.com forward slash support, and they'll be happy to help. <laughs>